Okay, so we're starting our EVLT. Okay, today we're going to do an EVLT that's an endovenous thermal ablation of a right great saphenous vein. This patient has the right great saphenous vein goes up the inside of the thigh, these branches feed into it, and it turns into the deep vein. The valve at the junction of the superficial vein and the deep vein is broken, so it's allowing blood to go down this leg, and you can kind of see all these little varicose veins. She actually has some little skin changes that are starting here. So we're gonna close that vein. So this is to give you an idea from start to finish. We're gonna number skin. Little tiny numbing here. So, up. I should have warned her. Nancy, you should have warned her a little bit. Yeah, Nancy's not helping me today. She's just letting the patient just, I'm sorry. We usually give every patient a little, little tiny heads up, so there's more, there's more. Pressing. There's more just, um, I'm actually a little sensitive today, sorry. Excuse me. It's a little sensitive on her veins. Normally patients aren't quite that sensitive. Okay. I'll give her a little bit of heads up. Okay, Nancy. So Nancy's gonna come. If you can see on the picture on the screen there that we've accessed her vein right there, you can see me wiggling the point of the needle. And you're going to see the guide wire come out of that needle, and we're going to move it up her vein. Okay. So I'll give Nancy a little hand here. The vein's a little tender. Sometimes the veins, when patients <coughs> have been standing, when they come to see us for the procedure, the veins are a little tender. She might be a little apprehensive too. So, what we've done here is we've run our guide wire up the vein. We're going to take that all the way to the top here. So on our screen, we can see the guide wire, which is now inside the vein, which is this little round circle. You can see this little bright little spot there. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring it down. This is where the superficial vein goes into the deep vein. So let's see if I can bring it up here while you guys are watching. Okay, our next step is to pass, I'm going to take our access needle off this guide wire. And then I'm going to numb up her skin a little bit more. We're gonna just do a little tiny skin nick right here. So do you want to tell her I'm gonna put a little numbing? Va ser otro piquetito? Yeah, just do you know, if you let patients know they're pretty surprised how little discomfort there is. So we're just gonna do a little tiny skin nick here. That's just to open this skin just a little tiny bit. There we go. And Nancy's bringing this little catheter over the guide wire. There's a little tiny pop right here. Right there. Sorry. Yeah, yeah the, her veins are real tender. This is this is a typical scenario of the patient's okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring our catheter up the vein. So we're gonna see it kind of glide up here. There it is right there. You can see me pushing a little tiny, just that little, little bright light. That's her junction right up here. So we're gonna go up a little bit higher here, get it behind that first little mouth. Okay, good. So our goal today is to show you this entire procedure from the beginning to the end so that you'll know what to expect when you come to see us. So we're gonna pull our wire back. We're gonna take our inside of this catheter out which has what's called a small dilator. The dilator has got a little point on it so that it can go through the tissue. Bring on. So if you can look over here, You'll see me pulling back this little, a little hard to see there, but that's her junction right there to your left. That's her terminal valve. And right here to her right, you'll see me wiggling. This little, looks like there's two little uh, fingers there, and it's right behind her subterminal valve. Subterminal valve is this little line right here, and my laser is right here. So we're going to insert the laser fiber on the inside of this catheter. Here she won't feel anything at all because it's all going on from the inside. These fibers are 
fantastic. They have an extra layer around the exterior, that's why they're blue. And that avoids the laser energy being dispersed outwards. It keeps it inside the fiber and guides it up to the end here. So this part of the procedure consists of placing our laser fiber exactly where we want it. So it's that little, you'll see it here, it's that little line there. I'm going to pull it back a little tiny bit here, place it right behind that valve. And we can also measure that distance. You can see her valve, it's right here because I took the laser fiber off of it. So we are on this patient about two centimeters back. That uh, valve will serve as a shield to keep the heat from going forward. That's what I've noticed in most of the procedures that we've done before. Okay, so Nancy's just going to anchor that. Our next step is, which probably takes the longest, is actually pumping the local uh, tumescent anesthesia around the vein from top to bottom. So let her know, Nancy, that I'm going to do some little small uh, superficial numbings here. Okay, so one right about here. I'm trying to try my little mosquito technique. You know, she's a little sensitive today. Ask you if that if that hurts. Le just mucho? A poquito. Poquito. Okay, I'm sorry. Another poquito here. She is on a monster drink today. And here, right there. Sorry, I'm trying to give a little warning. So, sorry. It's going good. <laughs> I have to make her laugh, otherwise. One last one. Okay, one last little number here. This is sorry. There we go. Yeah, you can go ahead and just mark that. I'm putting a, a little extra here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make this as comfortable as possible. Okay, so our next step will be to just pump water all the way around this vein. So once I get this step going, patients uh, usually are completely anesthetized. Ah, look at me. Everything's fine. So what you see on the screen when I'm doing this, the laser fiber is here. Pass it down, that might be a little sore. Boy, all our patients are gonna think everybody is as sensitive as, as our patient was. You see this is, patients are looking at their iPhone, reading, doing their text messaging, doing their Christmas shopping. We did So, as I mentioned, this is the part of the procedure that takes the most time. It's just getting this vein nice and numbed up from top to bottom. So I'm gonna progressively make her a little bit better here. So again, what we're doing here is we're pumping what's known as tumescent anesthesia. Tumescent anesthesia, very dilute anesthesia. Let's go here. And uh, it was invented by a dermatologist, Klein, for lipo suction. Really? It's good skin. Wouldn't that just take all the liquid out? Excuse me. Wouldn't that just take all? After, the yeah, you pump it in, then you pump you, you actually. Uh, aspirate a lot of it as you're pulling the fat out. So, that's not what we're doing for this young patient. So we're gonna go back and make sure we have everything. She has a great saphenous vein that emerges from the compartment in which the vein usually stays. So I have to push it down a little bit from the skin. 
to avoid any type of things. So it's a little slower uh, to Girls are asking if they should cut the fella here because this is just a little boring. I think I'm gonna cut it off. Okay. Because I showed the time. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll go back. Yeah, we're back to recording. We're at 10:47. And vamos a comenzar y vamos a empezar primero despacio. Si siente algo, nos puede avisar. So her laser fiber is right here on the screen. You can see that little round circle, and it ends right there, and her junction with her. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to test to make sure she's nice and numb. 10 watts continuous. Okay. She's alert. She feeling anything there? Is No. Okay. So she'll let us know. So what we see on the screen when we start is you'll see kind of a bubbling aspect there on the screen. That's where the laser fiber is situated. Okay. Is it this? So, yes. One. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just basically going to bring this down. You can see where the, the tip of the laser fiber, I can follow it if I want. Usually I'll check the fiber to make sure there's no damage or anything to this fiber to make sure that nothing's going to happen in between. And we're just going to bring this down. The reason I put these little marks on her leg is that I'm applying a certain amount of thermal energy per centimeter in length. So this way I have a little scale. And as Nancy calls off the... Uh, I usually apply a little bit more energy at the very proximal segment of the vein because it's a little larger and that's where we sometimes see recurrences. So... So what used to be a uh, basically a surgical procedure with general anesthesia, what was known as a vein stripping, has now become a literally a 20-minute in-office procedure requiring no general anesthesia, just local anesthesia. So with this patient hurt. Her vein came out of the compartment. This is an anatomical variation. So this part here, which is actually above the skin, I'm going to apply much lower thermal energy. Otherwise, the patients will will get uh, a little bit of irritation. Eleven. I'm just go really fast. Kind of, I call this the zipper. And that 25 joules per. Twelve. Centimeter. And you can see where the laser is at by the red dot right there. 13. It takes very little energy to close this part of the vein. 14. And again, the, the thing is in that it's outside of the outside of the compartment, which is really quick here. When she comes back, it'll be all closed up. So what you're going to see here is her little laser fiber come out. And a little bit of blood because we didn't close it all the way down to the bottom. Okay, good. So that's a laser procedure. We started at 31 and it's 51, I believe. So we took 20 minutes with that. I'm going to just take a picture of the uh, proximal segment of the vein there. So what you'll see on the screen, maybe we'll put a little pressure there, Nancy. Thank you. This is where her great saphenous vein went into her deep system, which is right here. We're gonna check with a little bit of color. So what you'll see is, Oh, I didn't mean to take your finger off. Oh, 
Yeah, we're just verifying that we didn't do any any entry to the deep system. As I go back on the vein, what you'll see is the vein basically will just disappear right about there. Okay, great. Okay, so you want to you want to show this a little bit what we've got here on the patient. There's a little bit of whiteness. There's a little bit of what looks like bulging. That's just the uh, tumescent liquid that we pumped under the skin. So you see the patient is going to leave here with some steri strips. There's no stitches or anything. And we'll put a few steri strips down here. How was that? Let's let's. Como estuvo eso? Did that hurt? Did she find it to be real painful? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> No. Poquito. 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 Oh, so it's, no. so it's even me. It's her arthritis that's bothering her.